Will Smith is the undisputed king of the July 4th weekend movie blockbuster, and this year is no different. In Hancock, Smith plays a superhero with a mysterious past and a bad attitude. Fellas, give yourselves up quietly. Okay. Let's talk about this movie. Let's talk about Hancock. Because basically you play a bum. When yeah. we first see you, yes. you're a bum. Bum, a bum, a bum superhero. I can smell that liquor on your breath. Because I've been drinking. You have have to get in touch with your inner bum. I, mean, I know. <laughs> you know, let me tell you, that was uh the Hancock says anything, does anything. Call me a jack. One more time. Jack. How about you, thickness? Goggles? He's rude, uh, mean to kids. Like that was so bizarre and and opposite to you know what what are my natural sure, how uh, you're wired instincts. You know yeah. that it, it it actually it was difficult for the first couple of weeks, but actually turned into like one of those uh, guilty pleasures. Who is he like? When you're acting, you're, always, you're trying to find a model. Mm -hmm. Like when you look at a character, you're trying to find something in your life that you have some comprehension of. Yeah. And the big superstar athlete right. was sort of the approach where, you know, someone is so talented and people expect so much from them mm -hmm. that they're not allowed to, to really be human. I do public relations. People don't like you, Hancock. I look like I care what people think. I think the great turn for me in the movie was so uh, this uh, PR guy, played right. by Jason Bateman, mm -hmm. decides he's going to help you out. That really what you need, just need is a good image makeover. Absolutely. Right? <laughs> the, the, as it turns out, even superheroes have feelings. Yes, that's true. After all, I'm the only one of my kind. You deserve better from me. I will be better. Now, you do end up in a superhero costume. Yes. I ain't wearing that. In Hancock, he's fighting it all along the way. What? He doesn't like that, but we made one major adjustment from most superheroes. We put the underwear on the inside of the pants, <laughs> which that's huge. That's that's groundbreaking. You know, it's like, you know, Amer Americans, we're really used to our superheroes having the underwear on the outside. Uh-huh. We broke genre. I want to ask you a serious question mm -hmm. about how many movies in a row you've mm -hmm. made that have made over a hundred million dollars. One, two, three, right. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, a, lo a lot. A lot. A <laughs> lot. Yeah. You rolled through the summer. You were out here. Mm -hmm. You're in the junkyard. You're talking to the press and everything else like that. You f are, do you feel pressure? It's funny because it, it's it's not it's not about me, right? Per se. Like I study the patterns of the universe. Um, things happen certain ways. Mm -hmm. So you line up the elements and then the universe does the work. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. The 4th of July is the biggest American movie weekend and has been for 40 years. Yeah. Right? So you put a movie that has special effects, <laughs> you make it funny and PG-13. Mm -hmm. Is this just add water and mix? It's just that <laughs> you simple? Know, you know, I mean, you gotta make the movie good. To me, that's right. that's the only hard part. See, if it were that simple, good. I could be in the movie and it would right. go oh, no. on the 4th of July and everybody would go. We're, we'll deconstruct the universe the next time we talk. Absolutely. All right, so appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you very so, much, so Absolute much. Absolute pleasure. And Hancock opens nationwide today.